In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to move an object, how to move physical matter with a laser beam. So it's all going to depend on this light bulb shaped device right here called a Crooks radiometer. In the video description, I'll put a link on a more detailed video that goes over the workings and the science behind a Crooks radiometer. But just to give you guys a brief description, inside of that glass bulb, it's a partial vacuum, meaning that there's very, very little air in there almost none and the air molecules that are in there they're allowed to move freely and they want to balance themselves out amongst the area that they have in there in the very center of the radiometer there's somewhat of a needle and on the very top of the needle is sitting these four veins all attached to one another and they're sitting on this needle so that they can spin with very very little friction on one side of the vein is black and on the other side is white and that's because the black side will absorb the light and the white side will reflect it so because of this, when light hits the black side, it causes a temperature difference between the black side and the white side of each little vein, and that will cause convection currents in there, and the air molecules will kick off the black side, pushing it. So if light hits the black side, it's going to push the black side kind of like you are blowing on it. And you guys can see this in action right here. It's actually moving so fast that the camera makes it look like it's barely moving, like it's moving kind of shaky and slow. If I just tilt it a little bit diagonal, I can get it to stop, and then I can just place it down and show you guys from the start again. Uh, the sunlight's directly overhead right now. It's about 1 o'clock, so you get some really good results with it like this. The stronger your source of light, the faster the veins will move. I have sunlight, the strongest source of light that we have here on Earth, so this is moving very, very fast. But this is where lasers come into play now. You can use the focus power of the light from a laser beam to actually move these veins. You can use your laser beam to move matter. So this is a really cool experiment that you might be able to use for something like a science fair. Now you have to make sure to use laser safety glasses when doing this. Because this is a glass surface you're sending your laser beam through, it also wants to reflect off that glass surface and it can easily hit you in the eye. So I'll put some links to some good pairs of laser safety glasses in the video description. Now what I'm starting with here is a red 650 nanometer 200 milliwatt laser. You're going to want to aim it towards the black side of the vein, uh, sort of like towards the middle of the vein but closer to the outside corner, the corner that's the furthest from the needle, because it will move the veins faster if you aim a little bit towards the outside as opposed to the inside of it. And as you can see we're getting a pretty good spin on the radiometer. Now, I've tested this with a bunch of different lasers, and I find that I get the best results when I work with lasers that are above around 125-150 milliwatts. The lowered powered lasers, the true 5 milliwatt ones and the 50 milliwatt ones, they just don't move the veins as much as some of the more powerful lasers do. Now this one I'm about to show you guys right here, this is a purple or ultraviolet 405 nanometer, about 1 watt laser. And as you could have imagined, this 1 watt laser can really get that radiometer spinning very, very fast. Now, I wouldn't really advise using anything over maybe 1.5 or 2 watts because you do run the risk of actually causing burn marks and damage to your radiometer. And I would also advise if your laser has a adjustable focus, focus your dot to maybe about a centimeter, maybe a little less don't have a very very fine dot on the radiometer on the black side because you can cause burn marks and cause it to smoke and cause damage so be careful with that as well but yeah that basically wraps up this little experiment that you guys can try on how to move an object with a laser beam if you guys found this interesting or cool in any way hit that like button down below if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and if you thought this was cool hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome laser videos just like this and as always, thank you for watching.